This will be for the con assignment, reduce rational expressions to lowest terms. So for these problems, we want to factor the numerator and the denominator separately and see what we can cancel out. Okay, here in the numerator, we have x squared minus 24, and there's a formula for that. a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. Okay, so a squared is going to be x squared, and b squared is going to be 64. So if x squared equals a squared, and we just take the square root of both sides, x is going to equal a. Okay, so in place of a, I'm just going to write x. And as far as b is concerned, we see this is negative b squared and this is negative 64. So b squared equals 64. And if you take the square root of both sides, b is just going to equal 8. So in place of b, I'm going to write 8. Here we have negative b. Here we have positive b. Okay, so this is the numerator in factored form. x minus 8, x plus 8. Now for the denominator, okay, we want two numbers that multiply to 64 and add to 16. So let's write out the factors for 64. We have 8 times 8, negative 8 times negative 8. Okay, and you can keep going, but we can see that we have two that add to 16. That's right here. 8 plus 8 equals 16. Okay, so we're going to rewrite the denominator with positive 8 and positive 8. Alright, so these are all multiplied on the numerator and the denominator, so we can cancel. x plus 8 divided by x plus 8 cancels. Okay, and this right here is the expression in lowest terms. So we just enter this answer in the box. Okay, click the fraction button first, type x minus 8 for the numerator, and then click in the denominator and type x plus 8. Okay, that's our first answer. Now for the second answer, what values of x must we exclude from the domains? So, for this part here, you want to look at this fraction before you canceled it, alright? So I'm going to er erase that line I used to cancel the expression, alright? You want to go back to how it was before you canceled. And remember, the denominator cannot equal zero, okay? You can't divide by zero. So remember, anything times zero equals zero. So if this equals zero, the whole denominator is going to be zero. And if this equals zero, the whole denominator is going to be zero. Okay, but these are both the same. So we're just going to do x plus 8 equals zero. Okay, subtracting 8 from both sides. 8 minus 8 cancels. Bring down your x, and 0 minus 8 is negative 8. Okay, so x equals negative 8 will make the denominator 0. All right. 
So that's what we have to exclude. Okay, and that's what we're asking for. Notice it says choose all answers. In some cases, there's going to be more than one answer. But in this case, it's just x equals negative 8. All right. So just remember, factor, numerator, and denominator individually. Then cancel and type your answer here. Okay. And then go back to how it was before you canceled and make sure the denominator is not zero. All right, so again, we want to factor the numerator and the denominator separately and see if, see if we can cancel. So here we have 2x plus 14. Okay, 2 and 14 are both divisible by 2. So I'm going to factor out a 2. Okay, we can't factor out an x because there's no x over here. So 2x divided by 2, that's just x. 14 divided by 2, that's just 7. Okay, and it's positive 7. So for the numerator, we have 2 times x plus 7. Now for the denominator, we want two numbers that multiply to negative 7 and add to positive 6. So write out the factors for negative 7. Okay, that'll be 7 times negative 1 or negative 7 times positive 1. Okay, do we have two that add to 6? Yes, 7 plus negative 1 is positive 6. So we're going to rewrite this with 7 and negative 1. x plus 7, x minus 1. Okay, since everything in the numerator is multiplied and everything in the denominator is multiplied, we can cancel. x plus 7 divided by x plus 7. Okay, and we're left with 2 over x minus 1. So just enter that in the box. Okay, click the fraction button first to make it a fraction. Put the 2 in the numerator. Then click on the denominator and type x minus 1. Now for the follow-up question, what values must we exclude from the domains? You want to set the denominator equal to 0 before you canceled. Okay. So I am going to remove that line that I used to cancel. All right. And if x plus 7 equals 0, we'll have something times 0, and the whole thing is 0. If x minus 1 equals 0, we'll have something times 0, and the whole thing will equal 0. Okay, so I do each one equal to 0. And you can probably do it in your head. Subtracting 7 from both sides. 7 minus 7 cancels. x equals negative 7. Over here, adding 1 to both sides. 1 minus 1 cancels. Bring down your x. 0 plus 1. So x cannot be negative 7 or positive 1. Okay, make sure you choose all answers that apply. So x equals negative 7 right there. And x equals positive 1 is right there. All right, one more if you need it. Factor individually. Okay, for the numerator, we want two numbers that multiply to positive 4 and add to negative 4. So writing the factors of 4, 2 times 2 is 4, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Okay, do either of these add to negative 4? Yes, right here. So we're going to rewrite the numerator with negative 2 and negative 2.
in the denominator, two numbers that multiply to negative 14 and add to positive 5. 7 times negative 2, negative 7 times positive 2. All right, do we have 2 that add to positive 5? Yes, right here. 7 plus negative 2 is positive 5. So we rewrite this with positive 7 and negative 2. Okay, so we can cancel x minus 2, top and bottom. And this right here is the simplified expression. So click in the box, click the fraction button first, type x minus 2 on top, then click in the denominator and type x plus 7. Now we want to go back to this before we canceled, okay? So I'm going to erase the lines I used to cancel here. All right? And remember, the denominator cannot equal 0. So we're going to do x plus 7 equals 0. And we're going to do x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, subtracting 7 on both sides. 7 minus 7 cancels. And x equals negative 7. Adding 2 to both sides. 2 minus 2 cancels. x equals positive 2. Okay, make sure you choose both answers when you do the multiple choice. Sometimes there's only going to be one. So x equals negative 7 and x equals positive 2.